Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this video, I am going to tell you how to enable Touch ID and what are the different uses of Touch ID in your Mac. So without wasting any time, we are going to start the video. But before that, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. So in short, let me tell you how to enable Touch ID in your Mac if you haven't done it. Uh, just simply open system settings, which you can find in dock or else go and select Apple logo at the top and then select system settings. Now, once you open system settings, go down and look for Touch ID and password option. Once you select that, uh, if you have already activated Touch ID, then you will be able to uh, check out a fingerprint option over here, which says finger one. But if you want to add new Touch ID, you will directly get an option of add fingerprint. So all you have to do is you just have to select that particular option, uh, enter your uh, admin credentials, select Select unlock option and now it will ask you to place your finger on the touch id button so that it can record your fingerprint so you have to uh, lift and rest your finger multiple times once it is done now it is asking me to capture the edges of my finger so let's do that and now uh, once the fingerprint has been recorded touch id is ready to use so this is the basic step to enable touch id in your mac now let's take a look at different uses of touch id now below touch id option you get uh, multiple features over here you can decide for yourself which feature you want to use and if a particular feature is not useful for you you can just turn off the toggle now the first feature is you can use touch id to unlock your mac which is the basic thing so i'm not going to cover that particular thing now the next thing is you can also use touch id for apple pay so if you are using uh, wallet or Apple Pay in your Mac and if you want to use it you can just uh, do the transaction by simply using Touch ID. So that's the second feature of Touch ID which you can uh, use in your Mac. Now the third feature is again you can use Touch ID for different purchases in iTunes stores or app stores. You can also use it if you are uh, you know buying something on web you can also use Touch ID over there. So yeah there are multiple use of Touch ID in terms of purchasing anything. So yeah that's one thing. Now, the second last option over here is use Touch ID for autofilling passwords. Now, what is this? Suppose if I go to Safari for now and if I want to log in into my iCloud account and as soon as I select sign in option, you can see it is giving me a pop up screen saying that do you want to sign into your iCloud account using your Apple account and to, uh, you know, directly use a credential it is asking me to continue with my touch id so as soon as i scan the touch id or as soon as i use touch id you can see signing process is completed so i don't have to enter the login credentials manually i can simply do that by using touch id now apart from this you can also use touch id for fast user switching so that's one option uh, that's very handy if you want to use that you can just turn on the toggle now there is one more thing i need to know you that uh, i need to tell you that and that is if you are trying to download any new application which you haven't used before for example if i want to download a third party timer application in my mac as soon as you select this get option or you select install option to download that particular uh, application in your Mac, it will ask you to use your fingerprint. So now you can see it is asking me to use Touch ID to install that particular application. So this is uh, again one more usage of Touch ID. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video guys. These are the simple features you can use with the help of Touch ID. I hope uh, this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.